Hi everyone, so today I'll be riding this 360 bicycle. So this is a new colorway that um that is recently released. Uh. So what's so special about this 360 is it's a external three-speed bike. And this is a chrome um chrome 360, a chrome blue 360. Yeah. So if you can see it's very shiny so i think in singapore it's one of the rarest 360 you can find uh, in the market and uh, also there's a trend of trifles uh, going external for example the brompton p line and t line and also there are many other trifles right out there in the market right that is uh going external for example and you have ASIO Fix and you also have um, Min Trifles which is the, one of the budget options and one of the more, more uh, budget friendly options and you also have yeah namely this few uh, Pikes Pikes, uh, Pikes is not external though yeah so uh, now 360 right it used to be 360 used to be internal hub but now right uh, it has become external like they, they release uh, new external models so today I'll be cycling um, along with my friend, my friends. So, Sun Jie. Hello. And also, Mr. Gary. So today Sun Jie will be riding his um, his show fix. 3 speed external tri four. So as you can see, grey is one of his favourite colours. So as you can see, both both these bicycles right what they have in common is both of them are um, external three speeds which is the trend the trend now so most of the bicycles now you uh, in the market right, is going external la, instead of using internal hubs which is what i prefer so today uh the three of us will be riding the three of us right, will be riding a three speed external yeah so we'll be testing the comfort ride the riding experience Based also whether three speed try, is it sufficient enough to climb up, climb most? Uh, is it three, three? Is three speed enough to climb most hills or any um, gradient in Singapore? Any slopes? So today we we'll we will be going to Pongo to test ride. So a basic introduction, uh, if uh, to people who might not know what three sixty trifle is. So three sixty right is one of the earliest trifles that has been released to the market in Singapore so so it's one of the earliest like uh, trifles right other than Brompton so before before Pikes before Pikes right 360 was one of the main sellers in Singapore la. I mean one of the main 360 was one of the main uh, uh, how to say uh, one, one of the main trifles yeah one of the uh, one of the alternatives to Brompton so before Pikes was even released there was 360 as you can see this is a 3 speed shifter on the 360 so 360 the initial 360 is uh, 6 speed 6 speeds uh, 3 internal and 2 speed external so now with the trend going external uh, 360 came out with uh, 3 speed external speeds so this bike I, I I find it's very light. It's lighter than the original three uh, six speeds with the internal hubs, and also I find this three sixty right. The hubs right. It's very smooth rolling. It's not uh, very draggy in terms of the cruising, and also it doesn't require a lot of effort as compared to the Sturmy Archer three. Internal house found the pikes. Initially, I wanted to get a three. About two years ago, initially, I wanted to get a three sixty. I was com I was deciding whether should I get a three sixty or pikes. And at the end. I went with the pikes because why, why the reason I chose the chose pikes trifle is because I find that 
bikes look more alike to a Brompton, especially at the front, the front tube area, uh, where it connects to the the stem area. Yeah. So that, that's that, that's what made me choose the pipes over the 360 since both are six speeds. A lot of people wanted to find out what's the difference between uh, pikes. I mean, I mean, what's the difference between 360 and HO fix? So today we will be also comparing between the the 360 and the Asia fix on the riding experience what, what are the main differences and who and which one would suit um, different types of different types of riders if you're considering to you get either 360 external 3 speed external or Asia fix 3 speed external so slightly on the 3 speeds right really feels effortless uh. Unlike the Pikes internal hubs, which I used to cycle, which makes me feel very like draggy and you know, a lot of, I need to pedal a lot and I constantly and pedal very hard also to keep the speed, to sustain a given speed. But the 3-speed external is very nice. It's just like the issue fix. I find external speeds much more, you know, efficient in terms of the rolling and the cruising. And when pedaling, it requires less effort. So now I'll be going up this bridge. So a lot of people is wondering whether three speeds is enough for most uh, most cycling experiences in Singapore. Hi, can I? Hi. Three speeds external going uphill. So for the issue fix, it's possible for me to go up here for this sort of slopes, uh, this sort of gradient. So now I'm testing whether the 3 speed external from 3, 360 is it sufficient enough. Is the gear ratio okay for this sort of hill? So now the 3, 360 3 speed is on the lightest gear. So I'll be going up hill without um, any momentum, without picking, without much speed. I'll start away from here and up the other slope without picking up speed yeah instead of picking up speed and going up here i'll just start with a uh, zero speed i'll start from stationary and i'll be going up the hill right now on the lowest gear so i'm on the lightest gear now so going up here is uh it's not even difficult. In fact, it's as good as the three speeds XO fix that I was riding. So on my pikes, the Sermi Archer, Sermi Archer internal hubs, the SF3, I had to pick up a lot of speed before going up hill. I had to pick up the momentum. And I cannot start from stationary. Good ah. I start I st I started from st I started from stationary right. Go up here right, no problem. Don't have, don't have, don't even have to pick up momentum. So I started was was that gear. So now Shen will be trying the 3 speeds 360 and I'll be riding his 3 speeds is your fix. So Gary is riding his fire coral. Fire coral, right? Yeah. yeah. Fire coral 360. Also external speed. So okay, let's go. Yeah, how's the 360 3 speed? Very light, very light. Very light, right? How is the riding experience compared to the Asio Fix? Uh, Not much of a difference, right? Because it's running on external speed. So, have you have tried my pipes before? How do you feel riding the internal hubs and external hubs? I mean, external speeds. Uh, internal hub 
very heavy. Very heavy, right? Do you feel sluggish or like uh, draggish or not? When, 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 when I went on it. Uh, yeah, pipes. Yeah, my pipes. I do feel uh, very uh, draggy and sluggish uh, when I ride the pipes. Like you knew so when I ride the, when I'm riding uh, external speed uh, tripod, right? The overall build is much smoother. And it's uh, faster as well. So it's much effort, it's like, it's less, less, effort, less, yeah, less effort, effort, right? And you feel more, how to say? Comfortable. Yeah. Especially the wind resistance and all that. Yeah, so it's less, you, you require less effort, like. it's much more effortless when riding external speeds over internal hubs. and Sun will be running uphill now up this bridge at the Pongo end so they'll be testing whether the tree speed is enough for this scenario so both of them are riding the 360 tree speed okay now you all change to the lowest gear are you all ready? change to the lowest gear okay ready? 3, 2, 1, go! As you can see, going up hills on 3-speed external is very possible. In fact, Sun Jie is going so fast that I'm lost in the dust behind and they are not waiting for me. Thanks man. So the view here in the morning is great. So this is, I think used to be a river, Serangoon River connected to Pongo and the sea. So it's now it's now because it has become a dam. Uh. So the government has dam up the river and it has become since become a reservoir. You know, because Singapore uh, the water is very scarce. So Singapore has to conserve every bit of water. So the river has become a reservoir now. I, I, I seldom go into Coney Island because I seldom venture into Coney Island because a lot of people say that uh, it's more suitable for mountain bikes so I I've hiked I've walked in Coney Island before but I have never cycled in Coney Island so today we will be testing out the three speeds in a rugged environment so let's go So opposite you see the island over there with a lot of trees. So that is Coney Island. So this is one of the hiking spots where people would, would go if they stay near the east. So I really enjoy my uh, it's my one of my first time riding in Pongo in the morning. Usually I ride in the morning in the in the night. So the morning really feels different, it hits different. So, this will be the SIT building. This will be the SIT building in future. The Singapore Institute of Technology. So, we'll be ready by 2024. It's a university campus. So, we'll be ready by 2024. It's a university campus. So, we'll be ready by 2024. It's a university campus. So, we'll be ready by 2024. It's a university campus. So, we'll be ready by 2024. It's a university campus. So, we'll be ready by 2024. Still in under construction, but due to the COVID, it, it was due to be completed soon. But it is now uh, it's now pushed back to um, 2024, which I hope will be ready soon. All the SITs in Polis will all be combined into this place. So we are now at Pongo. Uh, Pongo. Coney Island. So usually people take pictures at the main entrance over here. Okay. Fire coral 360. Only there is one of the rarest colors in uh, Singapore. In fact, fire coral. So 
this type of colors right i have seen it quite of, quite often in um um in, a, in like in clothing uh, and also furniture so i find this color in real life right, very nice thank you so it's very pleasing to the eye and also sun is running the chrome blue color with shiny nickel uh, clamps the is also very dark Okay,幫我拍個照一次嗎? <coughs> so now we are venturing into Coney Island. So it's an off road riding experience. So we will be testing out whether 360 is suitable for off road riding experiences like gravel and instead of just paved pavements right like in Singapore most roads right which are flat and even right we will be trying out rugged roads today in Coney Island most of the areas in Coney Island is paved already there are still some areas I think that are still gravel which I'll be testing on it testing the 360 on it later the view here is stunning in fact it's my first time cycling on this I mean at this rock I've never been here before. What an amazing view. So now we are off-road. We are on the off-road of Coney Island, so must be careful over here. And we should, I'll be cycling on slow speeds because of the, the gravel on the floor. Wow, what a bumpy experience! Wow. So there are, in the Coney Island, there are two parts. One is the paved pavements and one is the off-road part. So, yeah, it's my first time cycling here and I oh, I can really feel the the off-road and ready experience on my buttocks. Oh. Today, my friend Sun Jie will be doing a comparison between the 360, the dimensions, right? Between the 360 and the axial fixed dimensions. So, axial fixed uh, claims to be 1 is to 1 to a prom term. So, let's say if you just switch the fork or the real triangle to a prom term, right? I mean, to a, uh, to a titanium real triangle, it will, it will definitely fit because those titanium forks and triangles are designed for uh, prom terms. So you'll fit the fix well. So today we will we will measure the the ex, the ex, exo here, the front exo and the uh, rear exo to see whether the wheel sets can be interchangeable and also measure the rear hinge pin and the axial fix rear hinge pin. So okay, so now we start measuring the exo exo. So the can you measure the axle from one end to the other from here? These two forks, the fork axle. So mm. 
cm. 4 cm. Ah. 4 cm. Yeah. Okay. Now we compare the Isofix front fork, which Isofix claims to be one to one, which is yeah. So you can you can fit um Brompton wheel sets onto Isofix, no problem. Unlike Pike Tri, you cannot fit the Brompton wheel sets into the BWR wheel set right, directly onto the Pike's real real fork. Uh, real yeah, real tri. About 4.5 cm. 4.5 cm. Yeah. So this one is a bit longer. Slightly longer lah. Slightly, slightly not very not. Yeah, slightly longer. Not say very long. You see, you see, they fit different wheel sets. Okay, so now we measure the rear axle, the the rear triangle from one end to the other. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So this is the issue fix rear triangle end over here. This end around there. Yeah, 13 cm. Around 13, 13 cm. Estimate 13 cm. Estimate 13. Yeah, close to 13 cm. And now we measure the 360. Yeah. Mm. And there's a Yeah. So this one is about 13 or so. Uh. It's about 13 or so. Yeah. Yeah, so about the same. So the, the crucial point is this hinge pin here. If you take a look, the hinge pin, uh since you do mind measuring the hinge pin length from one end uh, the extra the the extra length. So we talk about the from this end to this end 7 cm so it's 7 cm yeah 7 cm so for the 360 the hinge, the rear hinge pin is 7 cm at the, from one end to the other now we have to compare the issue fix close to 8 close to 8 cm yeah so close to 8 cm so let's say if you want to buy a rear tri rear triangle titanium fork right a uh, rear triangle uh, titanium titanium rear triangle it's not able, uh, you're not able to fit onto the 360. Yeah, so that's for people who wants to go all out on a, a trifle. So let's say, my friend Sun here one day he wants to change uh, his, his fixed rear triangle steel to titanium, he can do it. But that will cost a lot because rear triangle isn't, for the rear, titanium rear triangle isn't cheap. Yeah, same goes for the fork. So for the fork, right? If you want to switch this fork uh, to titanium, also no problem for prompt, uh, yeah, because it's designed. The, those titanium forks are designed for prompt term. So for the 360, I think you you can change to titanium fork, yeah, for the 360. But you can't change this to titanium. Yeah. So for me, right, personally, if I were to buy a tri four, right. I would look forward if I can change to a titanium rear fork or rear triangle, but it's, that's not the, but um, yeah, but that's not the main purpose of buying a trifle. For me, a trifle is, is, is for commuting. Uh, it's for the uh, you know the convenience when you can fold yeah, inside the MRT. Yeah, it's compared to buy four. Trifles offer much more convenience. Com it's much more convenient. Uh. you can fold yeah. and push inside MRT no problem. It it's, it takes up less space. Yeah. So basically, last time I used to cycle. Uh, I used to ride a buy four lah. Previously, a serious buy four. By a serious bike four, but uh, when when I look at my friends that are using a uh, tri four right, I feel that tri four is more convenient now uh, because when you are anytime when you fold right, it's uh, very compact and once you fold right, you can just you know just move uh, with the with the aid of the easy wheels as compared to what a uh, bike four bike four doesn't have an easy wheel for you to uh, uh push around so yeah tri four is definitely easier uh, lighter and especially now we have uh, external speed external gear uh, yeah tri four so you can definitely consider a uh, uh, a bike like this uh, yeah so. Yeah, initially, um, about two years ago, near uh, about two years ago, uh, when COVID just started, uh, about, about around two years ago in Singapore, uh, I was considering to I was considering whether should should I get a three sixty or Pikes, and at during the in, in the uh, the time right, I it took me quite a while, maybe about few uh, took a few months to consider which one I uh, which one should I get uh, the Pikes or three sixty. So last time I didn't get the previously I didn't get 360 because of this uh, this part. It's much more wider as compared to you know Brompton. You know Brompton, this part isn't flat out. You know, uh, so this is the part where, you, where the main frame joins the front fork area and the stem area. Yeah, the stem area. So if you compare this area, right, it's much more wider as compared to Asio Fix inspired by Brompton. It is 
not expanded. Uh, it's, it's, it's you know it's same in it's it's, it's, it's the same uh. It's uniform in the dimension here. It doesn't go uh, spread out. You see. So that's one of the reason I got pikes because it uh the, it, it didn't flare out uh. this area. It didn't become wider. It didn't yeah. So if you could, but there there must be a reason why 360 I uh, design uh, in this manner in this fashion. So I think it's to reduce the flex or the bending moment the bending yeah the bending moment felt here lah that's one of the reasons why it flare out so it, it provides more stiffness at this the joint area hence they flare out this area so yeah so in the past i got pikes instead but now since 360 is running on external speed right if given a choice between pikes and 360 right i'll definitely go with uh, 360 because 360 firstly is running on external speed secondly it's much more affordable and budget friendly compared to pikes budget friendly yeah uh. yeah so it's much budget friendly so yeah 360 it's 750 dollars right for the base 360 mm. three speed external yeah in the, in the in the market right now so yeah 360 is a very good commute it's a very good commuting bike you don't have rain or shine no worries in external hubs i mean external gear uh, speeds is much easier to clean also yeah and the maintenance of it is not so complicated like an internal hub yeah that's that's what i feel like personally uh, so Jake, now we'll measure from this this end from this end to uh, from okay from sorry from this end the sitting end here right mm. to the front front area here and she actually to make it more make it more accurate right? we should measure from here you know from here the center of the seat post to wait uh, yeah from here to here the front 66 the front stem 66 cm so it's 66 cm yeah so now you're 66 cm come take a look please 66 cm huh? Yeah, the reason why we put uh, measure in the middle is because usually that's where we are seated. Yeah, yeah because it's much more uh, uniform because you can adjust the seat back and forth, so it's not accurate if you measure from here. So if you measure from here, it's much more accurate. Yeah, now, now you are looking. Measure is your fix inspired by Brompton, which is what so called one to one to a Brompton. Come on, ah, front side, front side, over here in the middle, ah. Uh, all the way to the front stem. 65 uh. 65 cm. Plus minus uh, 65, around 65 so, cm. Both 360 right? M and, and, and it's, 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 it's rather similar. It's rather similar. Which means the dimension uh. Which means Brompton riding experience is also around this length. And one thing to add on right is that just now when I was trying when I was testing out uh, between my bike and uh, and this uh, 360 bike right? actually it's the same uh, because of the the so weight the, the posture the posture everything is the same yeah I think the, the experience is about the same and yeah highly recommend uh. so uh, I want to I want to I want to share more about pikes pikes is much more longer in terms of riding experience so for ladies it'll be much uh, 360 is a very good bike for ladies because ladies if they prefer a more upright position and if they're not so tall right they don't have to lean forward so much so they can be more upright and more comfortable at riding experience so i, I find Stop us, us. so now we'll be measuring the weight between the 360 and the SUV trifold so it's quite a fair comparison because both the bicycle the trifolds have uh, the rear racks installed and also the easy wheels installed same goes for the, the front, front block as well so both will have front, front blocks as you can see and both is using quite a, a lightweight saddle so now we'll be measuring the weight so please so on the weighing scale it states 11.4 uh, kg 11.4 kg so they will be measuring the weight of a fix trifle okay let's go three two So over here, it states uh, 11.38 kg, which is, if you estimate, it's 11.4. Comparison between 360 and Pikes, uh, 360 and it's your fix. Yeah, so we'll see you in a bit. In conclusion, 
I find that both um, 360s and uh, ASIO Fix, right, there's not much of a difference in terms of riding experience. Yeah. But of course, if you want to feel, if you want to have a bike, a trifle that is more like a Brompton, right, and you want to upgrade your rear triangle to a titanium rear triangle in the future, right, then you can get a ASIO Fix. But if not, if you are just a casual rider and you are how to say you are just riding for commute and also leisure for leisure right the 360 is ready to go man see this is a chrome blue 360 one of the rare colorways that gary has and also yeah so what i like and dislike about a bicycle right is actually to be honest there's nothing much i can dislike about this bicycle the only thing sad is um this part right don't look like a this part that joins the stem right don't look like a Brompton Brompton you know don't, don't look um almost similar as a Brompton the front tube uh, the the main frame tube I like this one you see it's so thick it doesn't flare out yeah so what yeah that's that's the only thing that I dislike about the 360 and speaking of which some people have pointed out that the stem right you might feel some flex at the stem when you know cycling personally i already tested it no flex at all maybe yeah yeah i jammed the brake and everything there's no i jammed the brake the front brake there's no there's no flex at all lah. yeah and then also some people point out that the clamps here right has some QC issues. Some people point out that there's no uh, channel for the screw right at the um, you know the the pivot here, the hinge here. So yeah, you can take a look. So they say they claim that it's rubbing out uh, when the when you're screwing the clamps at the hinge joint area. So I don't think it's same for this case. So maybe it's for the previous older 360 models. Yeah, so so this new 360 doesn't have this type of problem. Ah. Yeah, as you can see, my ASIO fix right inside the steel right, there's a bit rusty and which is normal, ah, which is also the same for Brompton. But about the 360 don't have lah. So overall I'll give uh, this try for a solid 9 out of 10 for the comfort riding experience for the value of the, for the for the price it, yeah for the price you know it's very valuable it's very value for money and yeah and the color options available so these two are the rare colors um. so yeah so overall it's a buy for me i'm i might buy a 360 if you know for for how to say for for rough use or rugged use as you can see earlier right we went for you know we rode we rode coney island so yeah so it has no problem going on a rough terrain like gravel roads and everything so it definitely has no problem going on to you know pavement you know curbs or you know when you go down curbs or, or all these things so the qc on this bicycle is quite quite good yeah so yes so I'll definitely recommend this bicycle to, to ladies because of the running experience is more upright and also for people who wants to find or who has a you know who, who is on a budget and want more budget friendly trifles. I know there are other trifles in the market like the main trifle, you know. Personally I personally I don't really recommend or really like the folding experience because it's running on nice speed external with all those like Shimano derailers. Yeah. But uh for this right, it's running on Brompton style derailers, so it's no issue for folding. Yeah, there's no issue when folding. Unlike those like nice speed eleven speeds which you need to fold at a certain um certain um speed uh, certain cog in the middle cog so that the chain line won't be interfered so yeah this is a good buy for the price the pay base 
price 750 if you compare this bicycle with Min Trifle which is around 690 this is a good buy for the additional 60 dollars yeah so thanks for watching and yeah I'll see you all again soon so thanks bye 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 Gary bye bye